morning bug. I thought I would start off the day. Hopefully um, this video can encourage you. Um, I have a lot of things to say on a certain topic, but um, I just wanted to share with you uh, just my perspective on certain things and I hope uh, my hope is that you'll be able to learn just a little more about your mama <laughs> and hopefully the things that I can share can encourage you. Uh, first and foremost, I just want to let you know how really proud I am of you, of uh, how hard you're, you know, trying to take care of everything and baby and household and you know family and and it's really hard to do but you, but you're doing the best that you can um, probably feeling a lot of things about a lot of things <laughs> and but I, I want to share with you uh, just a little something about me growing up ever since I was you know it's it's a topic um, that we all love and we all hate. Um, and it's about cleaning. And with me growing up, I was always having to clean something, uh, even as a child, starting with my parents. And, you know, they had me do a lot of things. They had me do everything. Um, mopping the floors, doing the dishes, dusting, cleaning the bathroom, cleaning my own self, cleaning the room, pick, picking up, putting up my toys, making my bed. You know, every day <laughs> there was something. Mowing the grass, uh, washing the cars. And after a while, you know, I really started to just not like that. Just because I never understood why was I the only one cleaning, you know? Or at least it felt that way. And it probably was that way. <laughs> for some things. Uh, and my only outlet um, to just even trying to understand some things was, you know, watching TV. And I, I got to see different shows, different ways of how people did things. Uh, but I didn't understand why I had to clean so much. I didn't understand why things had to be just so. And if it wasn't, you know, done right, picked up right, looking right, I had to do it again <laughs> until it did. You know, my work always got inspected. Uh, in the military, uh, every week they had an inspection. And I didn't know this, but, you know, I was totally oblivious. All I know is things had been clean, but they inspected your stuff. If you didn't own it, you got inspected. And if you did not pass inspection, you got fined, money, you know, or you got evicted. You lost the privilege of living there. Oh, um, but I didn't know that growing up. It wasn't until I got into public housing after I had you. Um, I thought it was such an intrusive thing to know that every 30 days, somebody, some stranger was going to come walk up in that house and they, they were just going to critique you. They were going to judge you. They were going to look at your kitchen, your bathroom, your bedrooms, your everyday living space. And if it wasn't up to snuff, you either got a warning saying, hey, you need to fix this right now, or you can get evicted, period. So, um, wow. So it took many, many years of just, you know, that, that was my life prepping for cleaning. That's After a while, you know, I liked having a clean room. I liked having a nice clean bed.
to crawl into. I like having a clean bathroom when I went to go take my showers. I liked having a clean kitchen, you know, ready for me to be able to make whatever concoction that I came up with. And I liked um, coming in, being able to sit down to a nice area. And then when people came over, it, it was nice to, you know, my anxiety was up if my stuff wasn't, you know, up to snuff, if it was dirty. But to be able to have people to come in, you know, um, so that I could practice hospitality. <laughs> uh, it was a good feeling, you know. Oh, the smells, the, you know, people being able to sit down and, and just enjoy you. And not have to worry about, you know, what's crawling around, you know. <laughs> if, there, if there's anything crawling around, you know. So, but for me, it took years, you know, half my life. To get to a point to where, yeah, I, I like being clean. It's a reflection of um, it's a reflection of you, you know, somewhat. Um, you have an opportunity to just really love where you live, showcase your personality, but it's tough. It's, it's function, you know, learning how to have spaces that are functional. Um, I'm sorry, these are key points right now that I'm talking about that, that help me. Is that space functional? Can I do what I need to do in there? Do I have, do I even know what I have? <laughs> that, for me, that was the biggest thing is, wow, if I don't know what I have, then maybe I got too much, you know, things starting to look cluttered and whatnot. If I didn't organize it in a way that where it can be functional, where I can easily get to it, girl, yeah, it, I didn't realize how much the clutter really impacts me. Um, and you, do, you will have those moments where, yeah, um, You'll have a little pile of clutter here, a little pile of clutter there, but don't let it stay there. You got to take care of it. You know, if you want to have certain things, you know, you, you got to take care of it. And, um, but know what you have. There's so much creativity you can do in your space. And I just wanted to encourage you and, and let you know that, hey, I know it's tough. You know, I didn't have anybody else to to support me, but I had a lot of people to criticize and judge me. <laughs> Not that they were, you know, trying to hurt me anyway. It's just, there's something about the fine art of hospitality when your space, um, is a space that you can invite other people into. And then there's something about you being able to have peace in your own space. You know where things are, you know. You're not stressed out by your surroundings. So I would be so happy, you know. I don't know if you're up for it. Maybe you can share a little bit about um, your progress, you know, your little day to day. Um, not that's fine too, but I, I, but there, there was a reason why I always had to do those things, and I'm so sorry if I, I didn't explain that to you growing up. Um, because things just got clean, right? <laughs> There's somebody else, you know, doing the cleaning, and then if there were moments where I fussed at you, you know, because you know there was clutter around in your area you know i apologize for not helping you to understand why it was important to do these things so that was on my heart today i know it's frustrating when you look at everything and it's so easy to get overwhelmed start with one area that you love to be in the most and make it the best area you can make it and 
everything else will fall into place. I love you. <laughs> my boogie boo, my bug. <laughs> Talk to you later.